paddling tour is from the marina in the heart of the town all the way down to the pool by lock which is about 3.2 3.3 kilometers of a soft paddling meander the current is again with you take about 40 minutes uh, lots of styles have been put in here by the fishermen and by the opw uh, all that cut stone around the channel uh, out of the town was done in 1887 as part of the bridge works and drainage works beautiful stone very badly overgrown unfortunately uh, the first thing you see as you sweep out from the marina uh, in the distance is the twin aluminium spires of the old Bornhouse factory. There's the rear of um, the Shearwater Hotel, the spire of St Michael's, the 1850s building. We're just beyond a little of the waterworks at this point. You can see the rear of the old Square D um, plant and that's the back of the town. That's the waterworks which is accessible by road from the um, Shearwater. On the um, other bank of the river, the opposite bank, you're looking at Crea and you're looking at uh, the Coppola of St. Bridges Hospital, which was built in 1833, and of course the Nurses' Home, which was a 1932 construct. Tomas Galan's father was a, a tradesman on that job, and that has land that sweeps all the way down to the very back, and there was a whole complex of waterworks and sluices that fed the system in St. Bridges for water and sanitation. The back of St. Of, uh, St. Uh, Our Lady Lourdes Church. They're agreed. That's the uh, boathouse that the uh, St. Bridges Hospital authorities had for uh, fishing and fishing a variety of live and dead craft or creatures out of the um, the riverbank. Uh, the Moy Carn Hotel, which was built in 2003, the SOC, the SUC navigation system was done in 1998 to 1999 at a cost of 18.2 million. The Moy Carn was put up by Bobby Finn in 2003. The Moy Carn is the name of the barony of the area and it gives its name to a nice 15 bedroom boutique hotel, restaurant, bar that's now run by the Dolan family and the berth uh, has facilities for 48 private uh, river cruiser craft and it's a very enjoyable and scenic setting looking over into Poolboy and down across into Suckfield. So from the, the Moycarn and Port Nick all the way down to Tullrush is where the um, um, crossover happens, you're looking at Suckfield. So this is the entrance to the Poolboy uh, lock, the end of our, our, of our trip which you can still pass the pool by lock in a paddle not in a wakeboard by going left and using the salmon steps on the weir to the left of the island and again it's interesting to note that some of the poured concrete on the um, northern end of the lock uh, was was chamfered or, or, or uh, smothered by the original stones of the pool boy mill which was a structure that was built in 1700 on this very spot uh, it looked very similar to the O'Brien's br bridge mills in Galway. All that stone, uh, there was a huge dispute in 1996. Michael D. Higgins was the minister who had to give uh, permission to knock the listed building. And as a compromise or as a gesture to the mill, all the stonework was used in the uh, corbelling of the areas. 2011 saw this monstrosity of infrastructural development over our Suck. That's the newest bridge on the Suck, and it carries the Dublin to Galway M6 motorway, which took some four years of construct. And there again, you can see the uh, traditional uh, cut stone uh, from the mill being used to line the channel out of the lock, and the river sweeps broadly south. Another uh, eight, six kilometres you're carrying forward, and you conclude at Shannon Bridge, a kilometre south of the Shannon Bridge uh, factory.